Uh, this is an application which uh, has been moved by the Election Commission of India. This is for a minor uh, modification. You know, they directed the data which was submitted before this honorable court by two orders in the sealed envelope. Because the impression perhaps was that one of the copy, the copy of that data is with commission, but we assume not... that you would have retained the copy of what you had submitted in the court. It was supposed to be in sealed cover, taking the information from the political party. So we just submitted as it is, we got not. So the entire data is with this honorable court. So what we could do is we will ask copy our, we will ask our uh, office yes. to scan and digitize That's the data which has been submitted to us. That might just take a day or so, I think, right. because they'll start doing it immediately. That can be postponed, mothers, they're, they're putting it up on the website. Then. We'll say that uh, as soon as the, uh, the, the data which is available with us is scanned and digitized, uh, that will be handed over to the the originals will be returned to the election right, commission, right, right. And, and they then will then immediately will, uh, they'll, they'll immediately up. That's fair it. enough. There's no objection. Your lordship's indicated also on the last occasion. Now, just one thing: who's appearing for the State Bank of India? Because in our judgment, we had directed uh, disclosure specifically of all details of the That's bonds, right. including the purchaser, the amount, and the date of purchase. They have not disclosed the bond numbers because That's that correct. had to be disclosed by the uh, by the State Bank of India. Because if you if you see our if I, if you see our judgment, Chip's judgment is quite clear on that. All details. So all details have to be furnished by the State Bank of India. I am for the government. And they had said in their own application that they have the bond numbers, etc. But they said that they were in two different silos. That's right. The SBI so the application for extension was on the ground. SBI is not a party. They were here because they moved an application. Anyway, now, anyway, if they disclose the bond number, we have no problem with that. Not just make sure that's to SBI, Yes. My Lord, may I mention, my Lord? Not if we issue notice to SBI, No, 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 no. That no. Uh, an I'm requesting the honorable court. Uh, an application has been filed by the Election Commission of India uh, seeking uh, further directions. Let's go. Uh, in the judgment, in the order of this court dated what is 11th of March, 11 March 2024, uh, this court had directed that the Election Commission of India, that ECI, shall upload on its website uh, the data which was furnished to this court uh, and which was being maintained in the custody of this court. Let's stop. While issuing this direction, the court had presumed that a copy of the data which was lodged before this court, before the registry of this court, would be available with the ECI. So you would like to stop. Uh, Mr. Amit Sharma, the learned counsel appearing on behalf of ECI states, that as a matter of fact, ECI did not retain any copy of the data which was uh, which, which was collated by it since it was being placed before this court in sealed custody. The request, therefore, of the ECI is that the uh, that the data which has been filed in this court may be returned to it so as to enable it to comply with the order of this court for uploading the uh, all the documents. Full stop. This request of the ECI has not been opposed either by Mr. Apil Supan or Mr. Senior Council or Mr. Prashant Bhushan, the Council. Mr. Vijay Hansai, I will you. Full stop. We accordingly issue the following directions. Colon, bracket one. The Registrar Judicial of this court shall uh, ensure uh, that, uh, a scan, that, that the data which has been filed by ECI in pursuance of the interim orders of this court, is uh, scanned and digitized. Full stop. Uh, upon the process being complete, this may be preferably carried out during the post. I think it will It may be carried by uh, during the course of the day tomorrow by tomorrow by 5 p.m. tomorrow. Uh, full stop. Once this exercise two, once the above exercise is completed. The original shall be returned to Mr. Amit Sharma, the counsel appearing on behalf of the ECI. Full stop. ECI shall uh, then upload the data on its website uh, within a period of uh, honor before, day after, by day, day after. So the copy of the digitized may also be given, so it will not, will not take time anymore. A copy of the, yes, fair enough. 
uh, a, a copy of the uh, scanned and digitized files shall also be made available to Mr. Amit Sharma so as to obviate uh, the obviate the replication of the process of scanning and digitization. So we'll uh, now we'll pass another order. We'll say, but, uh, would your lordships consider issuing notice to SBI? They may have yeah. something to say. Why do we have to? They should be here when the matter is going on. No, I'm so sorry, my lord. Uh, please. please. Uh, no, they filed an application which is disposed of. They are not parties. But really speaking, you know, we can take exception to what they have disclosed because they were bound, duty bound. I am not appearing for SBI. No, the way but, you, but, but, the but, 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 the court can pass an order. I am not here, Malot, for political correct. <laughs> what is the operative direction in clause? My Lord, may I mention my Lord? It says SBI shall. Uh, submit details of the electoral bonds purchased since the interim order of the court dated 12 February till date to the ECI. Mm -hmm. The details shall include the date of the purchase of each electoral bond, the name of the purchaser of the bond, and the denomination of the electoral bond purchase. Shall include. It doesn't mean it is exclude. SBI. Your Lordship's what, order what is on? clear. What your Lordship's meant for Allow you me, know? allow me, sir. Allow me. SBI shall it submit the details. Uh, of political parties which have received contributions to electoral bonds since the interim order of the court dated 12 April to the date of the ECI. So SBI must disclose details of each electoral bond it is encashed by political parties which shall include the date of the encashment and the denomination of the bond. So this is an inclusive order, it shall include all details. Lord, so would your lordships uh, see? BNC. BNC. And your lordship had said lordship that the reason E and C of your lordship's original. I am not appearing. I am assisting. I feel my lord SBI needs to be order of this court. Uh, the judgment of the Constitution Bench required the SBI required SBI to furnish to the ECI uh, all details of the electoral bonds purchased and, as the case may be, purchased. Uh, or as the case may be, and as the case may be, redeemed by political parties, including uh, the date of purchase. What are the other? Uh, yes. Date of your purchase. Lordship's name of purchase. For my purchaser. satisfaction. Name of purchaser. Purchase which have received. Uh, sorry. And the denomination. And the denomination. Date of purchase. purchase name of purchase. Name of the purchase. And, uh, and the date of uh, purchase. Stroke redemption. Uh, full stop. Uh, it has been pointed out. It has been submitted. That he said that that SBI has not disclosed has not disclosed the uh, the electoral bond the number, electoral, number the electoral number. bond numbers. What is it called? Is it called the unique identification number or is it called the, it's called the alpha numeric alpha. unique alpha numeric number the on each bond? The alpha numeric number of the electoral bonds. Uh, full stop. Uh, the solicitor general uh, submits that uh, since he is not appearing for the SBI, come on, notice may be issued to uh, SBI. Full stop. We direct the registry to issue notice to SBI returnable on Monday. Yeah. We'll keep it on. Uh, we'll keep it on Monday. Very good. Keep your flags. Good night. A copy. Uh, my Lord, may I mention, my Lord, Mr. Bagarwal, just a moment. Mr. Don't Bagarwal. interfere. Uh, a copy of the a, a copy of the uh, note, a copy of this order shall be served by the shall be forwarded by the registrar judicial uh, on the standing council appearing for the uh, for SBI. May I request one uh, one thing? Sanjay Kapoor. Uh, to honest, uh, honest, uh, honest, uh, Kapoor. Uh, Sanjay Kapoor. Sanjay, Sanjay Kapoor. Sanjay Kapoor. May I request? Uh, your lordships are keeping this on Monday. We are guests among us. This mentioning can wait, my lord, uh, till Monday. I, I hope, my lord, I can convey myself. <laughs> <laughs> There we agree with us. <laughs> there is something to be said for what the solicitor said. <laughs> uh, Mr. Agarwal, would you like to mention this? Uh, on yeah, my Lord, I sent yesterday one request to Honorable uh, Lord Sir. For Sumoto. Edit us uh, with reading our files and correspondence both. Would you like to mention this on Monday, Mr. Agarwal? <laughs> But I would request him to mention. Lordship is fully aware. All of us will request him. Yes, brother.
join the door of the Lord Sim may permit me to file for application. But I was not a party, my lord. Please respect the sentiments of your colleagues. All of us are jointly requesting you to mention on Monday. Great you guys. Great Great नमस्कार मित्रों मैं हूं कुमार भविष्यंद और आप देख रहे हैं द इंडियन